Hello guys, I am Sarah from 190, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you the world's fastest and most epicest uh, elevator I've ever seen, or made, ever. And I was working on it today guys, real hard like, and I came up with this little piece here. And the water down the bottom to stop you from dying when you go back down. So I thought that was pretty cool, and well worth the video. So stick with me guys, and I'll show you exactly how this is all built. Uh, it literally is epic. There is no buttons, guys, if you've noticed. There's no buttons, no pressure plates or switches or anything. You literally just stand there like this. Count to three. Bang. And it catches you like so. So I think that's really cool, guys, and it's really easy. You can see here I've tried many different designs. I had this in mind, actually. I wanted it to push me through all the water bits so I could go up and down at any pace and choose where to get on and off in a building, per se. And then I realized it was really stupid. So I, I actually put it down here instead so that I could just jump back down without hurting myself. Because this only does work on survival C. So I put some water here like this. And I stood there for a real long while and it didn't work. So I put a pressure plate down, I stepped on it, and a real weird thing happened. I died. And that wasn't good, so I, I changed it a bit. So what I've done is... Uh, you can see there's a pressure plate here. The reason why is because in the first tutorial you'll see it's necessary to actually start the process of ghost blocks. So you will need a pressure plate there every time you restart the game just to get that ghost block ready to go. But once that's done, you can actually get rid of that altogether and put ice blocks all around it like so with, and melt it basically. And there you go. So you've got no switch whatsoever. So that's the end of the first part of the tutorial. Let's get on with this part up here. Okay, three. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so let's build this contraption here. As you can see, it's very simple. Although I struggled at first, so just bear with me, guys. So I counted 30 blocks up exactly. I only used 15 blocks because I had one space apart using ice. Don't know why I did that. But just count 30 blocks up and start this process with five blocks out of obsidian. Um, okay, so don't pay too much attention here because I made a lot of mistakes and I changed it many, many times. Um, I didn't edit it out, however, because it wouldn't make sense otherwise. And that's hard to make sense right now. So, basically, I had two sticky... Uh, I had one sticky piston facing this way on the 30th level with... You can see I'm using two slime blocks, so the idea was to make something to close. So I'm going to build a frame around it using unmovable blocks. So that's obsidian, or ovens, or uh, watermelons as well. They don't move when slime blocks move past them, so that's necessary. So as you can see, I'm, I'm breaking away, I've changed my mind, so what I want to do is have a regular block up here, okay, so slime blocks stick to regular blocks, so I kept that in mind when I was building this. So here you can see one block up, I'm using a tripwire, and the same on the other side, four blocks apart with another tripwire, and I'm going to connect them with some string. Okay, now that's done, I'm just trying to find a way to make that tripwire actually access that piston down there. So I'm using redstone dust right here. As you can see, when I activate it, nothing happened. I was very disappointed in this. However, there's a very, very, very simple solution. And you'll see that any moment now. So I end up breaking this away and replacing it with a regular block. So I couldn't make up my mind. You can see that I have OCD. Switching back and forwards. But it finally worked out that I want that there instead. And I'm going to put the slime block underneath. Get rid, of, get rid of your measuring blocks, you don't need them anymore. So underneath here you can see I have a slime block attached to a regular block. And I'm thinking, what am I doing? So I break away, I break away the sticky piston and I basically brought it down one more block. As you can see, I decided this is how this contraption is going to work. Okay, so I had no idea what I was doing, as you can see. Uh, there we go. So I literally am coming up with this on the spot. And so now I'm actually going to break this away and try to connect the redstone down. And then I had a brilliant idea. I'm like, oh my god, I could just put redstone right underneath this contraption. So right underneath the tripwire, bang. Bit of redstone, that's it, guys. Simple. And the reason this works, I figured, well, once I go up past, it will trigger it. And when I come back down, it will trigger again the second time, allowing me to land safely. So let's try this out. And as you know, we all know this works. And bang. Open and shut, and there we go, I'm completely protected, and I'm now on the top 30th floor. Within one second, it took one second to get to the top. No, three, you count to three, bang, you get to the top. 
So if you guys can build an elevator faster than that, let me know in the comment section. Um, this is by far, I think, the fastest in the world at this point. Wow, that's so cool. Very, very cool. It always feels like I'm going to fall back down, but I never do. So this is very reliable. It works every time, guys. So yeah, just uh, build it, and I uh, hope you guys have fun with this build. Enjoy this build and share it with your friends. Let them know you got it from Sarah Fam. And uh, guys, please support this channel. It really does help. And like and subscribe and share this video with the world. I am the Sarah Fam. 190. Peace out, guys, and I most likely will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.